This video was sponsored by Canary. Go to canarylabs.com or use the link in the description to learn more. So how's everybody doing? Good. Great. Sp spun on my IO hub yesterday and that's amazing how quickly you can work with that product oh, right? and get things going. Holy cow. I mean, yes. 30 seconds to have my VPN running, um, stupid easy, don't have to open a port. Um, and then deploying an entire container, all the stacks that I ever use, you know, five minutes later, there I am. So the two, the two pro thanks, Josh, the two products that I am most excited about, well, IO hub is definitely at the top of the list right now. Um, and then if Kurt and Jeff, the guys from Libre yeah. are for real, you know, I, cause I haven't tested it yet. I've read everything they've written. I've mm -hmm. talked to Kurt. I've had a conversation with Jeff messaging wise, but I've been on, I had a couple of calls with Kurt. If they're for real and that, and they're really and it. And based on Jeff Noonan's, you know, I mean, Jeff Noonan obviously knows what he's doing. He's a sharp guy. So I have no reason to believe that they're not for real. Mm -hmm. Um, Libre is a big deal. Uh, yes, I, I agree. Join I had a call with Kurt and um, apparently they're going to be able to deploy. They're going to have, it's going to be an app that appears on the IO hub um, in our red container. And Excellent. it looks pretty wicked cool. So we're, we're definitely looking at that uh, platform for some work we have coming up. So. so does everybody understand sort of from a technical perspective or from an application perspective? Has that, well, first off, have most people read through the thread in, I, th I don't, I think it was in general, in the general chat in discord through the thread where we were talking about Libre, uh, GraphQL, um, and the concepts behind their technology. Has everyone at least read that thread or did you do, just, did you do a discord video review on that one? Like you did with not. the. I did not. I'm actually going to bring up that Discord review dude, that, today. In think, the dude, that, I'm, I'm so excited for that video. All right. So recommend that you guys go back. I think it is in general, and it's from a few weeks ago. It's that or digital transformation. Just search GraphQL. Yeah, sir, search GraphQL. All right. So here's basically, does everybody know what a mind map is? You guys are? Okay. So think of it this way. Like we're Libre's, like based on what Kurt and Jeff have said, Here's what, here's the differentiator between them and everything else, you know, everything else in the market, sort of what add, what, what adds to the industry 4.0 infrastructure right now, everything we do with MQTT is edge node and broker, right? And imagine that the communication between the, the MQTT client and the MQTT broker originates at the client or the broker, but you, it's not, there's no awareness as it's being transported between the edge node and the broker, right? So you've got this node out there, you got the broker and imagine a little communications line between the two, right? There's no awareness on that line, right? It's either I can look, I can look at the data on the client and I can look at the data on the broker right? We have no awareness of the architecture of the infrastructure. That is, I couldn't, gr I couldn't graphically create what the architecture looks like just from the architecture itself, right? I couldn't say, hey, MQTT infrastructure, show me the topology, show me what it looks like, okay? You can't do that. Now, it hasn't been a huge deal, right? It's not a it's not like we're missing anything by having that. What Libre, for me, what Libre really adds is that awareness of the actual architecture, right? That's that at the end of the day, that's what they're presenting. And it creates this whole new, it's, it, it's basically this GraphQL stack sitting on top of what we already do what we already do using an MQTT infrastructure. That's what it is. They but actually it, are using, um, go ahead, Zach. Uh, EMQX under the hood, EMQX, their community broker. Correct. They're using the open source EMQX broker. So when you hear me say, oh man, Libre is a game changer. 
It's because it's adding an entirely new piece to what it is we're already doing, which is sort of imagine being anywhere within the ecosystem and being able to know the structure of the rest of the ecosystem. Yeah, it like understands you, the relationships and the description of those relationships. Correct. Those are the two takeaways I had on the, on the conversation. So Let's see what uh, my takeaway is that it's more intelligent way to query that that's definitely the, on the GraphQL side. Yes, Jeff. Well, they've got the whole S95 stack in there. Correct. I mean, it's again, now I have not tested this in any way, shape or form. I, all I've had are theoretical discussions with Kurt and Jeff. Jeff definitely knows what the fuck he's talking about. I mean, he is definitely a very, very sharp engineer. Okay. And they, and combine those guys obviously have a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. Jeff definitely knows what he's talking about. So I have no reason to believe there's nothing that Jeff has said that would make me believe that he's not, he's, he isn't delivering on what he says he's delivering on. I just haven't tested it yet. Um, for, conversely, um, one of the things that we're going to be releasing is, uh, you know, Rick Bulata joined the Discord server, right? And um, if you guys don't know, does everybody know who Rick is? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, Rick, Rick's kind of, he's a big deal in industrial automation, has been for a very long time. You know, former, um, I, I couldn't remember his background. I actually learned it while I did the, went through this, but went through the Discord thread. I think you guys are going to like the video. It's, a, like, it's literally like a one-hour video, but I go through the thread where Matt and Rick go back and forth and, you know, I basically comment on the whole conversation. Okay. And we I actually we do keep, it. We actually keep score. We keep score. So I'm like, <laughs> Oh, Rick loses a point here. And you know, Matt gets a point here and all that stuff. So it's going to be kind of funny. You'll hear like game show sounds and stuff like that. It's, it's, you know, but, um, so Rick's a big deal in industrial automation. He, if you guys don't know, he, you know, he basically, he, he built two, um, he did two startups. The big one was Thingworks, okay. Um, and he, but he came from Wonderware, and, and and I couldn't until I read the thread. I couldn't remember. I knew he was a, he was an executive, but he was the former CTO at Wonderware. And then he created a platform that went to SAP, and then he created a platform that went to PTC. I actually hit, beat him up pretty hard for that, and I say, selling, listen, Rick, selling, selling to the rebellion. Yeah, or you know, Rick, Rick's part of the problem for you know creating great technology and then selling it to the empire and not to the rebellion. Right. So, um, you know, I, I kind of beat him up, but to contrast Jeff Noonan with Rick Bulata, right? So Jeff Noonan is the brains behind Libre and Rick Bulata is the brains behind ThingWorks. When I was reading the thread, Rick is obviously a very brilliant, gifted, accomplished guy. But when I'm reading what Rick is saying in the thread, it is very apparent what Rick doesn't know, right? And by the time I get to the end, he started his, his, his conversation as contrarian, but he came to the exact same conclusion all of us have come to, right? Everyone in this community have come to. The difference is, is he thinks, he thought that what he was proposing was a novel idea, and he didn't realize that what he was proposing is something we're already doing with these architectures. And so my conclusion is we have to show them how we're doing it, right? There's nothing in what I've read with Jeff Noonan to say, what I, when I read what Jeff Noonan says, I say, this guy's a one in 10 million engineer. That's what I'm reading when I read Jeff Noonan talking. Okay, that's how gifted he clearly is, okay? And Rick Bulata, as accomplished as Rick is, and I, I'm not picking on Rick here. I, I have immense respect for Rick. What I'm trying to contrast here is I can't overstate how much you should listen to what Jeff Noonan's saying. There's not a, there's not a thing that Jeff is saying that doesn't pass the shit test, right? There isn't a, there literally isn't a thing he's saying that is, you know, he is a guy when he speaks, you should listen because he clearly knows what he's talking about. And he is, he's, he has gone through the process of theorizing, looking at gaps in architectures, theorizing solutions, and then made them a reality. He obviously knows what he's talking about. And so if Jeff and Kurt are actually delivering on what they put on paper and you take, and you take the combination of the IO hub technology and you combine that with the Libre technology, which is literally sitting on top of the stack that 
we've been using since 2012, 13, you have a whole new paradigm. It's a huge paradigm shift. And Libre, uh, there's no commercial relationship with Libre. Yeah, we have no, we have no relationship with Libre might, in any though. way, shape, or form. <laughs> they should sponsor um, us. <laughs> I mean, in fact, Kurt and I went, you know, I mean, we, you know, we traded, you know, we were throwing bombs at each other. I mean, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, just like uh, when we, well, let me say this. I never say anything based on how I feel about someone. So if I think you're a dick or a prick or whatever, I'm never going to allow how I feel about you to dictate what I say about you, you know, professionally. Like if you're gifted and I hate you, I'm still going to tell the world you're gifted, right? Um, if you're, de if it, if you're, if it deserve, if you are deserving of the credit, Luke Small, for example, right? Luke and I did not see. You gave him shout outs left and yeah, right. Yeah, Luke and I did not see eye to eye. He's the supply chain guy, the Irish guy that we had on the Q and A couple months ago, maybe four months ago, or whatever. That obviously that didn't go well, and then it didn't. You know, he took a couple shots at Zach in the Discord server, and I stuck up for Zach, and Luke took his ball and went home. Right. The, I mean, I, I give Luke credit. In fact, I in my keynote address the, a couple of days ago out in Scottsdale, I give Luke a shout out. I say, hey, you know, this guy. He definitely knows what he's talking about when it comes to supply chain, right? So how I feel about Luke personally, and I don't have any ill will towards him, but how I feel about people personally does not dictate what I say about them from a technological perspective because I'm mission driven, right? What's, what the, you guys, the insight that I can give you guys today, um, the insight that I can give you guys today is the insight that very few people in the industry have right now that gives you the head start is IO Hub plus Libre, if Kurt and Jeff are delivering on what they're saying they're delivering on, is a massive game changer. I mean, and, and what's the implication? And what do you mean, Walker, by game changer? By using the architectures we're teaching you guys, right? Using MQTT, using edge driven report by exception, lightweight, and you know, we make no assumptions about how data will be consumed, all those things. We cut integration times by two thirds. Okay. We cut engineering cost for use cases by two thirds. All right. The, the Libre IO hub. Um, so the Libre capabilities with the IO hub um, Docker deployment and the IO hub Linux industrial Linux um, distribution is going to cut those integration times by another third. So there, there are significant technological advantages of the IO Hub Libre. And by the way, there was no commercial relationship between those two companies. They, they, it wasn't like they were working together. It was like we were doing IO Hub. Kurt comes on the Discord server. We're looking at that technology. And we're like, holy shit. Take this one, put it with this one. Mm. And everything's, and it's a game changer, right? And speaking of game changers, Canary our sponsor for this month. Canary is the data historian and reporting tool to make process data easy. And another thing you'll find cool, and it relates to this video, is IO Hub is creating a Canary connector. So IO Hub, the sponsor of last month, is they're creating a Docker container to connect and transmit data from their IO Hub platform into your Canary historian. Go to canarylabs.com, check it out, or use the link in the description to learn more. Thanks for watching.